it's bunny here welcome to my sacred space of love and healing we are going to dive into what you have coming up in january so this is going to be a general reading it is not a love reading um if you have any questions as to why i'm not doing love readings as of right now just watch the video for december and it'll explain everything to you Okay, I'm not going to get into it again, but we are not doing love readings as of right now. So this is going to be a general read and it is going to be for Aries for the month of January. However, all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. If love comes up, you know, it comes up. If it doesn't, then, you know, the universe wants you to focus on other things, Aries. All right, let me clean your space with my sound bell. <clears throat> I'm going to pause it. All right, let's dive in, Aries. All right, I have all, I have all of my love decks here because I just did a bonus love read for Gemini, so I do have all of my love decks in here. But so if if love does come out, I can pull some clarifiers. Um, but I'm not focusing on love. I'm just doing a general read. So I do have a few decks in here. That are not love um i'm going to be starting with my light seers tarot and you know as as guided i will pull from different decks okay let's see what else what other decks i oh shit hold on one second okay i have all the decks that i want aries i just got all the decks that i want I have four ducks here. All right, what do we have for Aries for January, please? Keep in mind, this is a timeless read, so whenever you find it, it's for you. I will be focusing on the energy of January, however. Two of Swords. I can tell you right now, Aries, there is two different paths you're trying to figure out, okay? You want a fresh start. You just don't know which path to take right now, okay, in your life. There is a need to create some stability for yourself. Maybe you've been working really hard trying to create stability for yourself, right? I see a lot of you working hard and saving money, which is a really good thing. You feel really... All right, so you right now you feel really confused about something, okay? The Two of Swords is about making a decision, okay? And the thing is, there's this energy of a, like a lot of clatter, a lot of like clatter chatter so there's like people trying to talk to you there's everyone's trying to give you your opinion you should do this you should do that you know everyone is trying to give you advice and here's the thing Aries here's what I want you to do I want you to trust your own intuition this blindfold is about using your intuition not seeing with your eyes but seeing with this eye with the third eye it's about trusting yourself, your gut, and your feelings about whatever it is you need to make a decision about, okay? The Fool shows me that you're, you are looking for a fresh start. You want to start over. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is by trusting yourself, trusting your guidance, okay? So this shows me that there has been a little bit of worry about your finances. You might be holding on to a lot of um, things in general, um, like worried about things being taken away from you because maybe in the past, you know, you felt like you didn't have enough money, you didn't have enough time. I mean, whatever it is. So I see you trying to hold on to things, trying to save money a little bit, which is good. Saving for a rainy day is always good, Aries. Be careful about worrying too much about your finances because ironically, when we do that, then it creates more worry and more um, 
lack. So if you're worried about not having enough money, paradoxically, you won't have enough money because the universe is going to go, oh, okay, well, this is this is what Aries is thinking about all the time. So, you know, might as well give them what they are focusing on, which is no more money. You know what I mean? So just be be careful and cautious when you're um, worried about holding on to things. Just know that Whatever is meant for you is going to find you, okay? So there's no need to hold on to anything. It's okay to just surrender and to let the universe sort of steer your, your boat, okay? And to trust your guidance and the universe's universal love for you, Aries, okay? So judgment tells me that you've been really, really tuned in to the calling of your soul, okay? You're listening to yourself. You're trying to discover more things that set your soul on fire. You're sort of diving into like the, the daily pleasures of life, right? And you've been working really hard at discovering your soul's path. Look, and it's going to pay off, Aries. You're going to have some really, really beautiful, happy moments. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, right? The sun is the gravitational pull for all of Earth. Look at that. It's it's drawing up her necklace. So trusting your soul, trusting that everything that you've been giving out into the world, this beautiful love energy, my beautiful Aries, right? It's going to come right back to you. Excuse me. What else do we have for Aries? Ooh, I also see that you've been diving into some really, really harsh shadows, Aries. You've been really trying to balance your light and your dark. You've been diving really deep into your subconscious. For some of you, you might even have started seeing a therapist and going to like hyp hypnosis, things like that, that uh, really trying to dive into your subconscious and to figure out where all of your childhood trauma lies. And Aries, that is a beautiful thing. You're really, really diving deep into your shadows and it's going to pay off. Let me tell you. So some of you um, may be going back to school or you're going to be learning a new um, you're going to be learning a new skill. Okay, I see that you're very, very thirsty at this time for for um, knowledge areas. You're just diving into everything. It's like, I see that when you love something and you're curious about something, you just dive right into it, Aries, and you just consume it, right? We have two of pentacles. So you you are learning to balance your finances, and they are going to get a lot better, okay? We have the moon, the page of swords, and the two of pentacles. So you are going to learn to better balance your finances. And let me tell you something, Aries. This is also the card of manifestation. So whatever it is that you've been working on manifesting, it's right there. See how she's got, it's here in the 3D, but it's also there, like as above, so below, right? It's like she's she's manifested it here, but she hasn't seen it here yet, but it's there. Okay, so this is about trusting that whatever it is you're trying to manifest, it's on the way, Aries. Do you trust it? Do you trust yourself? Do you trust that all the knowledge you've been learning on your journey of life and all of this trauma healing that you have been doing is working for you? Is the question, right? So beautiful. Okay. Let's get two more cards here. What's the last things you want Aries to know? And then we're moving on. I'm going to try to keep these readings as short and sweet. Oh, there was a little bit of stock energy right there. <laughs> like nothing wanted to come out. 
It was strange. Six of Wands. Wow. So for some of you, if you have been trying to achieve something in regards to like the public eye, you wanted to be in the limelight, you want to be famous, you want to be known for something, that's coming. This Aries, this is my my fame card, right? Some of you are going to be literally going to be famous. If you're an actor, your career is going to blow up. You're going to be well known. If you're a singer, your career is going to blow up. You're going to be well known. Whatever it is that, whatever it is that is creating a sense of public recognition for you, Aries, fame and fortune. That's what this card represents. So that's going to resonate with only a select few, I think. Okay. But somebody going to be famous. I just heard baby's famous. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I did have an Aries once that I read for. And he kept every single reading he would get. He kept getting the fame card. So and he was an Aries. So definitely there's some fame there. We have the tower. So don't freak out, Aries. We're going to pull a card and figure out why we have the tower here. I'm going to put all these cards in. So the tower is some kind of really quick, sudden change, which can feel like it's rocking your world, right? Um, it's always some weird, unexpected thing that happens that goes, that shakes our foundation. And we go, oh my God, why is this happening? And sometimes it doesn't feel good. And sometimes, you know, it's just a shocking thing, right? It doesn't always necessarily have to be bad. So why do we have the Tower for Aries and what is it in relation to? All right. Tell me about the Tower Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. I'm going to go ahead and keep our protective bubble up as we do this. And welcome in Aries Spirit Guides to strengthen the connection with Aries. Three of Pentacles. So something in regards to work and a collaboration at work. Okay. Now, if you are not someone that works, you know, like a nine to five job, something in regards to a collaboration that you have been working on with someone, there's going to be something unexpected that happens in regards to that. Things might not go how they're supposed to. There, there might be some delays in your plans but I see that um, it will it doesn't feel like it's going to be that bad I feel like there might be some cancellations some delays what else can you tell us about this tower card I have this feeling though that it's going to work out tell us more about the tower card please Eight of Swords. Okay, so a lot of this is going to be, you're just creating more drama in your mind. So you're going to make it out. It's going to feel worse in your mind than it actually is. If that makes sense, Aries. Okay, because the Eight of Swords is about like letting all of these intrusive thoughts go through your minds, replaying things over and over again in your minds. And this is about learning how to just let that shit go, Aries. Stop replaying the same old shit. Realize you're not only, you're not a prisoner of your thoughts. You can free yourself at any time. Just stop thinking about it. Stop the negative loop. Stop worrying about what could happen. And instead focus on what the good that's going to come out of this, um, Teamwork, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be a third-party energy, as in, like, you know, you're seeing someone and then you you figure out that they're either cheating or they're, um, they're, they have another option in the love department. That could also represent the tower, right? 
but that's just only going to be for a select few of you. Um, so take it how it resonates and let me know how it turns out, Aries. Okay, because I'm not reading for love, so I'm not focused on that. I'm just letting you know what it could mean if you are in a relationship with someone. Okay, so because forewarned is, you know, forewarned. You have been warned. And that way you could be prepared for it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pull a Moonology card for you, Aries. All right, what do we have for Aries? All right, so we have first quarter moon in Gemini. Speak your world into being. Weren't we just talking about this? About not focusing on, you know, what it is that you can't control, not focusing on the negative thoughts, and instead focus on what you would like to bring into being, okay? So look, there's two people here which could represent twins. You know, take that how it resonates. Um, speak your world into being. So I once heard someone say that, sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today, that words are spells, okay? So choose your words wisely, Aries. Allow yourself to only, 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 Aries, only. Speak good things into your reality. I am loved. I am wealthy. I am incredible. I am Aries. Okay? Rock that shit out, Aries. Seriously. You are incredible. You are a fire sign. So act like it. You know? Let that fire burn, baby. Speak everything good into your life. Okay? Only good things, Aries. Claim it, Aries. I love you. I love you. All right. I am going to pull a rune card for you. Okay? Um, I don't know what these runes mean, but I'm trying to learn them, so that's why I'm pulling one. It's from this deck, Runes for Modern Life. Ancient divination cards for today's dilemmas. What is the dilemma, Aries? <laughs> oh, man. And I got this deck from my beautiful friend, Sheila McNeil. Thank you. I'm just going to shout her out all day <laughs> because she's wonderful. Now, if something in this reading resonated, Aries, please like. Please subscribe. It's completely free to you, and it really helps me out. Share with all your incredible Aries friends. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in the description box below my video. You just got to hit the go the appointment fix. Now, just so you know, usually I have a huge waiting list. So, you know, first come, first serve. Everyone will get done. Thank you for your patience, Aries. And there is ways to support me. I have two tip jars if you feel guided to tip me. I also have a Patreon page where you can support me for only $5 a month. It's definitely not going to break your pockets in no way. And it's a way for me to be supported on my journey so I can help to support you on your journey to give is to receive, Aries. And I also have an Etsy shop if you feel so guided to purchase something from me. All right, what do we have for Aries? Now that I've pushed myself um, and all of my wonderful wares down your throat, Aries. <laughs> all right, we have Manaz. Ooh, look, potty time. Look, it, it's so funny. It's like the world is around them and yet they they are the only focus they're only focused on each other right let's ooh, i dropped my bunny i dropped my bunny all right so let's look up what this is manaz we have it right here <clears throat> Ta -da -da -da, my cheat sheet okay manaz represents mankind the self friends enemies and social order so, 
Aries, to me, this feels like you're going to be spending a lot more time out socializing with your friends. At the same time, you're also deeply focused on yourself and what it is that lights your fire. I just keep feeling that. I said it in the beginning and I'm going to keep saying it. I feel like you're really focused on discovering what it is that makes Aries burn, baby, right? So keep doing that. Keep doing the discovering about yourself until you know yourself like the back of your hand, okay? Um, this also represents enemies, social order, and mankind. So I feel like, you know, naturally, Aries, you are like this natural humanitarian who loves to help people. I know all of the Aries that I know are so beautifully kind and they just have such amazing hearts and they really, really love to show people that they are special, right? And so I feel like you're trying to find more ways to branch out and be this beautiful humanitarian that I know you are, Aries, you know, to show people how loved they are. And Aries love in a special, amazing way. Um, so it also can represent enemies, if for some god awful reason someone wants to decide to rain on your beautiful parade aries please 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 allow them to feel what they need to feel and to say what they need to say and do the do the better thing and the bigger thing be the better person and just turn the other cheek because you don't even need that type of energy or negativity in your life if Anyone feels the need to become an enemy of the beautiful Aries, then wish them love and block them, cut them out of your life, do whatever it is that you need to do because you, my beautiful Aries, do not deserve that type of energy because you are in such a beautiful place right now. Do not let them bring you down, okay? And so it also represents social order, okay? So my beautiful Aries, I feel like at this time, you are trying to figure out where you fall in your life, where it is that you need to focus your energy, you know? Where is the social order in your life? Where do you feel like you need to be right now, Aries? What is your idea of social order? What is your idea of how things should function around you and in your world, Aries, right? What is your definition of success? Is it that, you know, everyone else's definition of, you know, striving and striving and striving? Or is it just being? Is it just embracing, right? All right, Aries, I love you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I am beaming you so much love. Bye. All right, actually, Aries, I'm really glad that I just paused and I didn't turn off the camera because I meant to pull one of these for you and I forgot. So let's do that <laughs> before I go. <laughs> Surprise, Aries. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had the deck out and then I, for some reason, normally I'll just turn the video off, but for some reason, something told me to hit pause instead of... Um, shutting it off and I'm glad I did because I realized I forgot to pull one of these cards for you. This is going to be your spirit message <clears throat> from your spirit guide. What Keeper of the Light is assisting Aries right now at this time and what does Aries need to know? All right, we have Horus, Cosmic Gateway. Oh my God, we just talked about this. It says, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. I told you, Aries. So that, again, this is about watching your thoughts, right? It's about speaking what you want into existence so it can manifest for you. That is incredible. I, I was just saying that. See, people wonder why I charge so much for my readings. This is why. Because I know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? We're going to read this. Horus is the Egyptian eagle-headed god and sun 
twin flame of the goddess Isis. He is known for his foresight, psychic awareness, and his ability to travel between the worlds. He can help us move into the cosmos with our minds, our meditations, and prayers so that we can harness the natural magic that surrounds us. He was known for ritual magic in the past, and now he helps create pockets of energy in the world where we can access light, wisdom, and insight. If you are seeing the symbol of an eye appearing around you, know that Horus is asking you to become aware of how you are influencing the energy around you and how it is in turn influencing you. You are connected to the universe and have the ability to manifest miraculous experiences. See, I told you, Aries, you are incredible. Your thoughts, words, and actions are like magnets drawing the energy that creates and cultivates your world. You have a stellar gateway chakra above your head, a vortex of energy that is influenced by your own energy. Incredible, Aries. You can place ideas into this vortex to create what you are seeking. The universe also offers you guidance, abundance, support, and healing based on your capacity to connect to it and accept it. So ask yourself, what are you willing to connect to and what are you willing to accept in terms of healing and in terms of manifestation areas? Are you thinking too small? Do you need to think bigger? You have a real opportunity to further that connection now by sending prayers and intentions out into the cosmos. Oh my God, Aries. I love it. I love it. And that seems like a really beautiful place to close this reading off. Oh, Aries. I love you so much. Mwah.